Tesla update here on the 16th. So not a lot going on right now. I don't see very much going on with any of the stocks. Everything's pretty much just bouncing back and forth. A lot of the tech stocks are just, they're down a little bit, but they're not really in a buy zone yet. And then we got to figure out what's going on here with QQQ. So I'm not doing a whole lot this morning and I got to leave early today. So I might not do very much at all. Um, Tesla is just bouncing back and forth. Hard to tell exactly what's going on, but the longer it stays down here below the 50 and just bounces back and forth, I think the higher probability that it's going to come back down here um, to this demand zone here in the weekly. And this is a three day demand zone right here. I have this right here. This is around the 50 right here on 226. But just look at this pattern right here. It doesn't look very bullish to me at all. So you get move down, chop sideways, move up, move down. Now you're going up again. It looks like it's in some kind of uh, triangle still. Some kind of move potentially like this. Maybe it goes up here to 225 again. Maybe it stalls out right here. Maybe it was only ABC right here. Maybe it was just kind of like an inverse head and shoulders right here. And then maybe this is wave one right here. It's kind of hard to tell right now, but I'm still using that 50 DMA as kind of the gauge of if this is going to go up here to 238 or if it's going to come down here to 201. But they're just killing options right now. But again, longer it stays down here, like before on the hourly, we were like down here. We were like three standard deviations. The longer we chop, the more likely it is to come down here. You can see it kind of um, changes the whole standard deviations. We're basically at um, neutral now. We're like maybe negative 0.5 on the hourly. And so it's perfectly fine if it comes down here into earnings now. So... I'm basically neutral though right now until something happens. Um, I'd say I'm leaning a little bit bearish actually. A little bit bearish. But if it does get above 226, then I would say it can run up here to 238. So not a very big bias on Tesla either way. On the daily standard deviations, we're still sitting here at the outside of negative two standard deviations um, but if it comes down here that's gonna be a perfect buying opportunity still and so i just sound like i'm saying the same thing every video because nothing has happened we're just bouncing back and forth and we'll see what happens on tesla from here again same thing on the 15 minute we bounce back and forth and now we're almost at two standard deviations perfect set up for it to come down here to 201. So overall, leaning a little bit bearish, but not overly bearish considering how far this fell and where we're at in the daily. But I would say 202 is more likely than 238 still. On QQQ, it fell down here. It's in between a supply zone and a demand zone. Another reason why I'm not doing much. Um, if it comes down here, Potentially buy some calls, maybe do them like pretty far out and then just um, hopefully get a bounce out of there and then sell back up in here. Like I said, it's likely that the first wave could end right in here, but um, the first wave could be finished as well. We'll find out. This could be one, two, three, four and five like that, but we're not in a spot that I want to buy at right now. I want to buy down here. So. If it comes back up in here, I would think about buying some puts for a second wave and potentially a third wave down with a stop above um, the high right here. But I haven't been doing that much short term trading because it's just been so much easier just to buy stocks and just make money off that than try to go against algos. Um, normally, I got a question about trading this. Normally, I, I used to trade like down to the one five minute time frame. But again, it was just a lot harder to do that than it was 
to just find good stocks with good risk reward, less risk, and uh, less stress. So if I'm going to buy something now, I usually go out a few months just because I want the littlest possible risk. And if I'm doing like weekly options, you can lose it all on one bad move and you got to be on the computer watching it intently. And you're, you're bound to lose a bunch of money at some point doing that. Everyone's going to lose. So I don't do it very often, but this is actually a pretty good setup. So if it comes back up in here, then I'd probably buy some puts. Down here, I'll probably buy some calls with a stop below the low. So we'll see if we're finished with this. It looks like um, potentially a ending diagonal here on the fifth wave. So maybe a diagonal. And now we're starting this retrace up here for a second wave. But again, we're not in the demand zone. And these usually like to drift to the demand zone. So we could be in something else as well. Um, we'll find out. Gave you my game plan. Buy down here. Um, sell up here. So... That's pretty much it for right now. Uh, I'm taking off half day. I'm traveling. But if I see some movement in some of the other tech stocks and I think they're going to buy, I might do a video here in a couple hours.